Hello YouTube, my name is Trey, welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're going to be talking about a Claire versus Amiri. It is a very interesting story, but before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. If you don't, cool. Here's my cash app if you want to give back to the uh, company. You want to get back to the production set. All the money we make goes right back to production and trying to increase that. Thank you, appreciate you. Alright, so let's hop right on into this thing. Uh, so this is going to be a big threat, so just follow along with me. So let's start here. So it all starts a couple days ago, about six days ago. Uh, well, yeah, two days ago. August 6th. Hold on, guys. Apologize. There is immense malnutrition. Even if you start to try to replenish everything. Sorry, I was watching the video. All right. Woke up. Woke up to my sister being the biggest disappointment I've ever seen. Look at the color of the arm wrapped around my sister. My poor sister laid up with a pasty. In my fucking house. Yes. Just quoting. Just quoting. Okay. So this is how it all starts. Somebody saw this. Candace saw it. But mainly this guy. Amiri. If y'all don't follow him. You know. Obviously we don't. You know. Once again. I don't agree with everybody I follow. And everything they have. But these people. Man. They, these are these uh, Twitter detectives. If you would call it. Or ex detectives. Sorry. Uh, I know Twitter's going to change their name eventually. So. Uh -uh. So that's how it starts. Cl Claire Kai. What was I calling? What was I calling her? Claire. Yeah, I was calling her Claire. I am inconsolable. How many white classmates does she have? My sis letting all of Europe take turns on her. This disappointment I feel right now. Our parents raised us better than this. This girl spent all of her dowry and now laid up with a white. Yes, my classmate matters here. Just FYI. That's the guy with the black truck. Yep, he white. All of them are. LMAO. It's true. Okay. Had to call my man for backup. I can't believe this cave dweller is in my freaking house. Look at some, uh, look at some music, because this is kind of, this kind of dark. Yeah, I like that. Did she introduce y'all? No, she didn't. Oh my God, I'm trying to stay calm. She knows I'm racist. LOL, that man looked like a straight up Trump supporter. Come and kill him for me, Dre. I promise I'll make, I'll help you hide the body. Bring all four of your guns. <laughs> like I'm baffled as F seeing a white man in my house. I can't believe it. This is supposed to be a Negro only house. I'm so mad right now, but all, I also don't want to call the scene and embarrass her. I don't know what to do. Uh, this is already getting dark. So that's the beginning of all this. So it all started with Miss Claire going a little wild. So let me get y'all on to the next part of the thread. Bip, bip, bip. Here we are. I just want to let y'all know that I'm about to do everything in my power to fuck this relationship up. And it's going to be so fun and so satisfying to watch. So, y'all already know why I'm having a bad day. My sister is a cave dweller smasher. In my house? On this land? So, I y'all already that. know why I'm having That might have to be my new thing. On this land? As a matter of fact, I'll do that later. All right, God. So, here we go again with Claire Kyle. I'm 29 and just fine. Queen picked me in logical for free. Pro black men, black supremacists. I would not give a damn if a white person had what my bio says because we already know y'all are evil, so it's right on brand. And they are definitely white pages on here my with my bio and worse. Yes, yeah, I can agree with that. Why shouldn't I hate white people? Why should I know y'all? Why should I show y'all any love at all? Name a big historic moment where white people did anything for black people out of the kindness of their hearts. A white man, a good dude, you smoking crack. Today is my first day of school. Can't wait to see all my new students. Keep that in mind, that last part right there. Today is the first day of school. Can't wait to see all my students. What student do you think she wants to see? What color? We'll continue on. Uh, before I continue, though, I want to say this. What has... What name a big historical moment where white people did anything for black people? Are y'all crazy? There's plenty of instances where, listen, I'm just gonna be honest with y'all, and this is just, it's gonna sound somewhat terrible, but 
there had to have been good white people for us blacks to be where we are today. It's not like it's I mean, we were slaves. I mean, and at least over here, there's other slave races. So uh, I'm not saying it's just only uh, African and African descent people. But I'm just saying, like, it was a lot of slavery going on back then. So some white people had to stand up for the slavery to end. It's not like black people had any say in that, right? So it's just crazy that you would say something like that. But that's just the brainwashing, you know what I'm saying? That's just the pure brainwash. Um, what? Oh, sorry, I was somewhere else. So this Amiri guy uh, was continuing on with this. And she said, she was sparring with me back and forth in the DMs, very nonchalant. She acted different when I pointed out some of these might be a little bit out of order. I apologize because I had to bookmark them all. Um, so we'll, we'll get to it though. She started acting different when I pointed out she might be currently teaching in East Dallas. She uh, likely attended Horn High School class of 2012. She might get shook when I said her actual name. Could be Renee Williams, Brittany Jackson Griffin. Once I said those names, she blocked me. Must be getting warmer. I'm not letting this one slide. Protect the children at all costs. Nobody this vow should be in charge of the classroom. Thanks to all the sluice of people helping me. Y'all are the real MVPs. So she ended up blocking this man, Amiri. And so we continue on. Uh, the reason that we have to mention is Amiri because Amiri is the one who seeked all this out, got all the information, and um, was really uh, breaking this story down. It's like, that's what I said. It's the Twitter ex detective, you know, the ex journalist, you know? And another one. What a vile person keeps up the retweets and the digging. This person's going to be at school, Get, getting closer and closer. She feeling the heat. School for students start on August 7th, but teachers go back on July 31st. Dre, please tell me you see, you see, please tell me you see getting your ass ache as gay. Oh, okay. That's real soon. Uh, that's super gay. This is why I love you. Thank you for being homophobic like I am. You're my soulmate. Man, just a weirdo all the way around. <coughs> So just a heads up, this is a look, hang on to your seat belts, boys. Just a heads up, after a back and forth with the faculty, I'm pretty sure we can rule out Ron Clark Academy in Georgia, keep digging. So pretty much uh, he went after Ron Clark and found out that she does not work there. So this is where it starts getting a little bit more juicy. This is where I'm at. Everybody, I'd like you to meet who I believe is Brittany Jackson Griffin, the racist second grade teacher that despises white people. So at this point, he thinks it's Brittany. And so he's starting to put these pictures together thinking they're the same person. But let's continue. And then ding, 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 ding. There's also a chance that her name could be Danielle Allen. I'm not Dom LaCour, so I'm not necessarily in my wheelhouse. I think that's also a fake name, just like Claire Kyle is. I could be wrong. Either way, I did my part. So he's thinking it's either this girl or it's this girl. And these people look exactly the same, right? He's going out. This is her actual picture, right? But he's taking this picture and these two pictures and thinking it's Brittany. Or it's possibly this individual. Danielle Allen. Aaron, why are you posting these with someone that secretly hates you? So this is her posing with her people. We'll keep the kid out of it, obviously. Uh, and then, bam, take a picture with these people. Go back. Uh, here's the... Uh, Lives a TikTok saying, Wow, a Google review of the school where the teacher works in Mesquite says the students were bullied for being white, not looking good for Thompson Elementary. So we're starting to really get it down. Good, good. I really like this really much. If you need anything, this school sucks because I was bullied there, and so was my brother because we were white. Uh, so I'm thinking this is a predominantly black school. Okay, so here we go again. We're still on it. Tell them everything you need. And this is where we get back to the darkness. DJ. Tell them everything you need. And this is him showing a picture of Ron Clark Carnaby. So he's thinking at this point, this is her. It's not. So this is why she's being so, uh, what do you say, Embroden? The plot thickens. When I was sparring back and forth with the racist teacher this morning, she kept reinforcing to me that Nothing was going to happen to her if she got exposed. She was very certain that her job was safe. I found this odd. So at this point, he thinks that Brittany Griffin is the lady and this is her mother, possibly. Of course, that was not correct. As we continue on, getting deeper and deeper. The racist teacher claims her teaching job is safe after posting racist rhetoric, calls violence to white people to social media. Does J.R. Thompson Elementary in Mesquite not care about the students? So at this point, he's putting it all together. 
Yes, y'all have found my job. So see right here, she's been found out. Yes, y'all have found my job. They told me to delete the post, but my job is safe since I did not directly wish harm on all white people. They laughed and told me to watch what I say and I'll be good to go. Being a great teacher pays off very well when they know your true self. So she's still sounding pretty confident. Then she eventually private started her whole account. And then you can see right here, this is the fitness Danny we saw earlier. She turned her account to private, so we know we found her now. Oh, we found her. Radio static, investigation phase one complete. We are now entering phase two, social media lockdown. Active phase three, stand by, awaiting for a phase three fake apology mode. Then prepare for phase four, karma complete. Radio static, thank you for flying with us. So really that's supposed to be, shh. Investigation phase one complete. We are now entering phase two, social media lockdown. So that's how it's supposed to go, I don't mess it up. And so this is where the story ends. DJ, cut the music. We did it. We got an openly racist narcissist away from little kids. Pat yourself on the back, all of you. At approximately 4 p.m. yesterday, Mesquite became aware of a series of alarming racist statements posted to the X, formerly Twitter, account of a teacher at Thompson Elementary. Upon learning of this situation, our personal staff began an immediate investigation. As a part of this morning, the employee is no longer part of the Mesquite ISD organization is not eligible for rehire due to privacy restrictions in mesquite isd cannot comment on the details of personnel matters nevertheless the highly offensive status posted to her ex account do not reflect the values and standards of mesquite isd and the direct the district condemns them in the strongest terms ah and this is where it all is i bet she really hates white people now First day of school, walking through the halls while Twitter thinks they can take my job. Call me every name under the sun, but y'all will never call me unemployed. And she has been completely fired. So as you can see, justice. You guys have got to stop thinking that y'all are just immune. And this is what I was saying the other day, right? That everybody wants to be famous. Everybody thinks they're so big when they get on Twitter, or when they get on X, or they get on or they get on their, um, uh, what do you call it, TikTok. Get on TikTok. Get on your little Instagram. Get on your little Facebook. Everybody thinks they're super famous. Here's the thing, though. So many people can go viral at any moment. So many people can blow up at any moment. Being famous today doesn't mean anything. There's people with millions of subscribers that you have no idea who they are, right? Back then, maybe seven, eight years ago, having a million subscribers meant something, right? And you were bigger than most people. Now, a million subscribers, you're still bigger than most people. But nobody will probably know who you are unless they search you out. There's so many, there's so many people who have so many subs. There's so many people who have so many followers that you have no idea who they are. But for some reason, people get like 50,000 subscribers, 50,000 followers on, on any given pro, uh, platform. And they think they're the biggest person on the planet. And they think they're immune. They think they can say whatever they want, do whatever they want. And then they find out real quickly that uh, it's all over. This reminds me of that one story before we, uh, there, there was a therapist, right? If y'all remember the black therapist that came on and said that men need to go to therapy and men need to figure it out. Women are doing just fine. And she started exposing some of her people's problems. She didn't say them by name, but she was still exposing them. Well, the people who were her people who were, you know, uh, she was uh, doing therapy too, right? They came out and called her out. Well, guess what she did? She doubled down and said her job was fine and we couldn't do anything to stop her guess what she's fired she got fired a while back and guess what she wants to do now she started shaking her booty on the internet and decided she wanted to start an only fans <laughs> you go from being a well-respected therapist to making a dumb mistake thinking you're bigger than everybody listen this is what i try to say to people too man y'all gotta realize y'all really gotta get out and go look at the mountains go outside if you live in a mountain area go look at the mountains if you don't live in the area you live in an area that's flat go look at some of those big trees some of them big hills i just want y'all to go look at a, a piece of land like a huge piece of land where there's no houses or nothing and just realize how small you truly are in this world okay people have such a big ego and they think they're just so untouchable but you know every time i walk around in life and i i live by mountains you know and i look at the mountains and i think to myself man how small Am I really? If one rock fell off this mountain, I'm dead. You know, it's just crazy to think that people just think they're so immune to life. They're so immune to everything. 
one bullet can stop any of us. Anybody can stop any of us. We're not as powerful as we think you are. Stay humble, guys. Be grateful for the life you got. Be grateful for the platform you got. But to think that you're untouchable, guys, you couldn't wake up if <laughs> you wouldn't wake up in the morning and somebody decided you don't need to wake up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? We're all vulnerable. So be grateful. Be happy with your life and stop thinking that you're above everybody because that's just crazy. It's just foolish. Pride be really becomes before the fall. It really does. Well, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below about this whole story. Hope y'all have a great day. Peace.